Hi and welcome to your getting started video on using the EV3 Lego bricks and the Open Roberta software which is what we will be using with it, this unit. So first up you'll need your EV3 brick and you will need the micro SD card that I gave you and that just goes into the SD card slot. Alright, this side up, insert it until it is flush the side and turn on. Center button will power up our EV3 brick and we've got the Lajos operating system loading up. So uh, just while it is starting up let me give you a quick rundown on how to navigate the screen and the menu items that come up. Basically up, down, left, right, select or enter and back or cancel. Those are the functions of the various buttons and it does take a, about 30 seconds or so for it to start up. While it's doing that we can get our other bits and pieces ready. You will need one motor, one connector cable and your USB. If you're using the new school Dells then you also need your USB adapter uh, to plug this into your computer but otherwise everything works as I'm demonstrating here even though I'm using the Mac. I do apologize for using the Mac rather than the Dell but the Dell was giving me all sorts of problems in trying to do a screen recording. So the Mac it is. All right now when it's almost ready the screen goes blank don't stress it hasn't turned it off. It was just loading up the actual menu, which you can now see is in front of you on the screen. Uh, before I proceed any further, let me quickly show you how to turn it off when you're done at the end of the day. Hit the back button from the main menu, All right, shut down EV3, arrow across to the tick and hit the center button and that will do the shutdown procedure. I'm going to cancel that because that's not what I want to do. Once my brick is up and running, I'm going to connect it to my computer. If I use my USB cable, I'm not plugging into that USB port there. I'm plugging into this port here that's labeled PC. So that goes into there. And then the USB end is what goes into your computer. Find the port myself. There we go. Right. Once that is done on your computer itself in your start programs folder uh, if it's not on your on your desktop the IT guys should have installed a little program for you called open Roberta USB and when you start it up you will see a little white box appear that looks like this and it's saying connect the robot to the PC using the USB cable. Okay, and then the connect button becomes enabled. Click now to con on connect to connect your robot to Open Roberto Lab. So I'll do that, hit the connect button. And then I receive this token and this code. Uh, I'm going to need this code in a minute. So I'm just going to move this over here. If I can use that. Now I'm going to open up Chrome. And I want to go to lab dot open roberta dot org hit enter all right and you'll get a loading screen such as this okay, okay on your first screen you will have to choose which system we're running so we'll pick ev3 and then we pick the ev3 joss operating system and we'll end up with a screen such as this. To connect to our brick, we'll go over to the EV3 icon menu, come down to connect, and this is where I need to type in that code that I've got. So B G W U C one M A. Click OK. All right, we just heard the brick come to life. There is a new firmware version available. Uh, you can run an update for your firmware 
uh, but it can you know it can take up to ten minutes. So only do it when you're probably got, you know, you've got free time. <laughs> I'm not going to do it now because obviously I'm in the middle of recording the video. The other thing you're going to want to do, uh, there's two different sets of menu options here. This is basically categories of all your different uh, commands that are available for you to program the robot with. Uh, but we're going to go straight to the advanced group. Notice there's a couple of extra menu items that appear and also within each of the existing menu items there are now more categories. And we're going to use some of those existing some of these new categories straight away. So always hit the little star to get the extra sized menu. Next piece of advice I'm going to give you is every time you start a new EV3 program, I recommend that the first instruction be set brick light color green to on. Uh, the reason for this is when we start a new program on the EV3, it can take anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds to, from the time you hit play to the time it starts running on the brick. Uh, and so sometimes, you f and the screen goes blank on the EV3 during some of that process. So you find yourself wondering, oh, I have hit an error, you know, have I made a mistake, or is it still just loading? So by saying backlight color green as the very first step, I know when my program has kicked in and so I can tell, okay, yep, it's gone green and then it's still not doing what I expect means there's a problem with my program rather than I'm still waiting for it to upload or something like that. So do that as the first step. Now the next thing I'm going to do is for our very first program, we're going to make a motor turn. So I'm going to come down to move and I'm going to say let's take the motor that's going to be plugged into port B All right, we'll click that on, and let's make it run for a speed, at a speed of 30%. Under control, I'm going to come down here, and there's a weight uh, group of options. I'm going to grab the weight milliseconds. 500 milliseconds is half a second. All right, 1,000 milliseconds is one second. So if I make this 3,000, it's going to wait three seconds. Then I want to stop the motor turning, so I'm going to grab stop motor. And you'll notice here that the stop motor says port A, but when we turned on the motor, we said port B. So we need to change one of these. I'm going to change this to B. I'm going to plug my motor into B. And the difference between float and brake, so float means your motor will come to a rolling stop, brake means it's going to come to a hard stop. And then my habit is when the last step for my program is I get it to turn off the brick light. So onto the brick now itself. I get my connection cable, plug the motor in, plug it into port B. All right, so A, B, C, D are always for your motors. One, two, three, four are always for your sensors. All right, so there's my brick. If I hit play on the computer, you'll notice that our brick has changed with its Nepo logo. It'll hold that for a few seconds, then it'll go blank, and then it'll start running our program. And there you have it. The green backlight came on and the motor's turned for three seconds and then it all stopped. Very exciting. But that motor wasn't very powerful, so let's come back to our program and change this from 30%. Let's see what 100% will do. I wonder what 1,000 will do. Uh, and let's, so let's see how fast it can go at full speed. So hit play. And now we wait again. Okay, so that's a bit better. It goes at a full pelt. Well, let's experiment with that even further. Let's make the motor go backwards after the three seconds. So I can grab one of these, bring it in here, and you notice how it just pushed everything else down. So this time, instead of being 100 or 30, let's make it minus 100. And now if I just hit play, 
it's just going to go it's going to stop straight away because it's going to say start running at minus 100 and then stop so i need to put in an, another weight we've got this one we'll only make it wait for one second what we could do though is we can we've got a sounds category here under actions play a frequency let's drop this in here make it a bit more high pitch frequency runs for half a second all right uh, as a warning beep that we're about to head backwards and maybe we also want to change our lights instead of being green we can change the lights to go orange all right let's hit play on that wait for a few seconds There we go. All right, so have some fun experimenting with that. Uh, one thing I would real quickly show you is under the edit menu, you can export programs to save copies to your hard drive, to your computer. And if you log in to Open Roberta, you can save to your Open Roberta as well. All right, so that's coming here to the user, log in, and if you create new, so basically you can just set up a username and a password. All right. So if I log in using my existing username and password, it now knows who I am, and I can now come to save as, demo one so okay and there we go my program has been saved uh, to the network so if i log on to someone else's computer I pull up only on my existing programs that i had saved right if i go to open programs there's my demo one all right well so have some fun playing around with the motors and the lights and the sounds and when you're happy to move on from that have a go with the next exercise Thanks for watching.